Hello friends, I am Aryam Guru, working as a system professor in Surgeon Show Technology College of Engineering. Today we are going to see module 2 in which we are going to study integrated area planning in India and distribution of sizing and settlements. So the study of settlement and their planning forms one of the most important part of human geography. Planning is a decision making process in view of scientific and technological development of the society which is applicable in a wide variety of situations. So far as its applied aspect is concerned, it is a progressive step by step process, not a visionary master blueprint of utopia. So as long as 1936 Mahatma Gandhi expressed and stressed about the rural character of the economy and need for regeneration of rural life. In one of the periodical papers in 1936 he wrote that India is to be found not in its few cities but found in 7 lakh villages. But we the town residents have believed that India is to be found in the towns. So we have to see if those poor folk get sufficient to eat and clothe themselves with and whether they have a roof to shelter themselves from sun and rain. Therefore, I would say that if the villages perish, India will perish too. It will not be India anymore. The revival of village life is possible only when it is no more exploited. Rural development therefore an absolute and urgent necessity in India now and will continue to be so in future. So, planning for integrated rural area development has been broadly discussed by planners and scholars of different disciplines in different ways, but there is a lack of consensus and on its definition and scope. Planning for integrated rural area development has four aspects to be discussed. For example, planning integrated rural area and development. The term planning means to make a plan, to make a design for, to arrange beforehand. In general, planning means determination of action or series of actions beforehand. The term integrated refers to the process which aims at directing to interrelated economic activities in a desired direction. Some scholars regard it as a substitute for processes by which a group of activities is proposed or decided upon or the manner in which some special programs or activities are linked to the general framework to obtain optimum results. In the context of development which has emerged in the country, integrated refers to two types of integration. One is functional integration and second is spatial integration. The functional integration refers to the integration of all kinds of socio-economic activities which directly influence the welfare of the people such as medical, education, agriculture, transportation and communication etc. In other words, the integrated approach in development offers a proper coordination between the social and economic activities of people dependent to a great extent upon their location. Whereas the spatial integration is the product of pattern of different activities in any, any, any area. The term rural has been used in demographic sense to those areas which have been characterized by non-urban style of life, occupational structure, social organization and the settlement pattern. The rural area consists of villages and most of its inhabitants are engaged in agriculture and allied sectors. Thus, in totality, integrated rural development refers to the appropriate location of social and economic activities over a physical space for the balanced development of a region. The concept of integrated approach has been mooted with the objective of looking for a uniform harmonious growth in various areas of agriculture waste utilization, agro-industries, rural housing, health, etc. Broadly speaking, the concept in context of an area re refers to the functional, spatial and temporal aspect which are interrelated in various complex forms. The functional integration refers to the integration of all economic and social activities needed for modernization and betterment of living. Thus, health, education, agriculture, industry, transport and several other aspects of our day to today living over tap. The main concept behind it is that a function or an activity which exists in a central place or in an area focus 
must directly or indirectly be connected with the other existing functions. For achieving such integration, interrelationship in a desired form at a different levels is required. The integrated area development planners determine and pr propose the functions on an interrelated basis with a view to maximizing functional coordination and removing the negative or adverse effects and counter effect on other functions or activities. Then the spatial integration indicates the local and areas aspect of growth and development activities in which the total regional settlement system in space is involved. Here the actual location of a specific function in relation to other function count on a host of factors and so while proposing new activities or functions to promote development due to care has to be taken of complexity of locational choice which requires a proper understanding of functional interrelationship and chain reaction in a spatial context as it gives a long way towards the development of an area. The third dimension of integration is related to time, which in parts viewing the present with an eye over open for the future. Time perspective plans are required for the full focus on the on development in a particular region. Various plans of different time spans, that is short term, long term perspective, etc., can be worked out, emphasizing potential and future possibilities so that progressive harmony is maintained between growing regional population and required resources. Integrated area development thus refers to the appropriate location of social and economic activities over a physical space for the maximum rather optimum use and exploitation of physical and human resources available in a region for its balanced development. This slide refers to the role played by various theories in the integrated rural development plan. Walter Christoller tried to study the role of town and city as center place because it supplies goods and services in all directions of surrounding areas. They are central place with regard to their interland central places have got functional hierarchy in size also. This theory explains about the tertiary activity this theory is regarded as crystalline model. The central place theory can also be called as spatial organization theory. In central place theory, the keywords are central place, range of goods, threshold of population, market optimizing principle, administration optimizing principle. Then we will see the central place. A settlement providing goods and services for the population of hinterland. The production place which is service center for its hinterland in the central place. Secondly, threshold. The minimum level of demand requires to ensure profit to the individual producer of a good. In other words, the demand area is to be is to die threshold. Range. Maximum spatial extent of sales of goods. The range are usually circular since it enables the maximum number of customers to be supplied at the minimum cost. So, planning for integrated rural area development has been broadly discussed by planners and scholars of different disciplines in different ways, but there is a lack of consensus and on its definition and scope. Planning for integrated rural area development has four aspects to be discussed. For example, planning, integrated rural area and development. The term planning means to make a plan, to make a design for, to arrange beforehand. In general, planning means determination of action or series of actions. Further, in the Indian construct, the strategies can be oriented to the maximization of growth through regional development in less developed regions. Secondly, direct attack on poverty in some of the developed regions and structural changes in other regions for in this slide, we are going to see the model regional and town planning and development law 1985. Town and country planning organization formulated the model town and country planning law in the year 1960. This model act was revised in the year 1985 as model regional and town planning and development law to enact a comprehensive urban and regional planning legislation 
in all the states and union territories the functional integration refers to the integration of all kinds of socio economic activities which directly influence the welfare of the people such as medical education agriculture transportation and communication etc in other words the integrated approach in development offers a proper coordination between the social and economic activities of people dependent to a great extent upon their location further based on the model regional and town planning and development law 1985 many states enacted their town and country acts however states like haryana rajasthan and uttar pradesh of uttar pradesh do not have comprehensive town and country planning acts out of 7933 towns about 2032 towns have master plans this slide shows the various chapters involved in the urban and regional planning of bihar and kerala states the, the chapters are from 1 to 14 further in the indian construct the strategies can be oriented to the maximization in this slide we are going to see what are the revisions of urban and regional development plan formulation and implementation guidelines since 1996 many changes have taken place in the field of urban development especially in view of emerging needs and requirements of urban settlements due to rapid population growth and other reasons like globalization and liberalization towns and cities are dynamic entities and are subject to unprecedented changes in terms of requirement of infrastructure and other basic services amenities accordingly norms and standards prescribed by various guidelines need to be re re revisited or revised new guidelines to be called urban and regional development plan formulation and implementation guidelines that is urdpfi the draft guidelines are uploaded on on the website so the study of settlement and their planning forms one of the most important part of human geography planning is a decision making process in view of scientific and technological development of the society which is applicable in a wide variety of situation so far as its applied aspect is concerned it is a progressive step by step process not a visionary master blueprint of utopia this slide uh, refers to suggestion in draft guidelines for modification replacing old land acquisition act with the new act mandatory implementation of 74th ca interstate planning joint area committee innovative system of land assembly town planning scheme land pooling and development schemes transferable development rights accommodation reservation encouraging private and joint sector participation timeline state regulatory body and city infrastructure funds so as long as 1936 mahatma gandhi ji expressed and stressed about the rural character of the economy and need for regeneration of rural life in one of the periodical paper in 1936 he wrote that india is to be found not in its few cities but found in seven lakh villages but we the town residents have believed that india is to be found in the towns so let us see if those poor folk get sufficient to eat and clothe themselves with and whether they have a roof to shelter themselves from this slide refers to distribution of urban population in which the various columns which are shown as class category defini uh, definition number of towns as on 2001 population as on 2001 percentage of urban population number of towns as on 2011 population as on 2011 percentage of urban population 
decrease growth rate of number of towns decrease growth rate of population as on 2001 to 2011 in which the class category of the towns are class 1 having population greater than 1 lakh class 2 in between 50 to 100000 class 3 20 thousand to 50 thousand class 4 10000 to 20000 population class 5 5000 to 10000 population and class 6 less than 5000 so whenever you see this particular table you will find that the total number of towns as on 2001 they are 5161 whereas number of towns as on 2011 they are 7933 with percentage population urban population is 100 and decrease uh, rate of total towns is 53.7% whereas decrease growth rate of population is 31.8 in the year this table shows growth rate of towns growth rate of town with respect to 2001 to 2011 and the number of towns so the data which is taken for uh, preparation of this particular table is compared from census 2001 and census 2011 which is indicating that there is a migration of population from rural to urban area the term integrated refers to the process which aims at directing to inter related economic activities in a desired direction some scholars regard it as a substitute for processes by which a group of activities is proposed or decided upon or the manner in which some special programs or activities are linked to the general framework to obtain optimum results in the context of development which has it indicates that 61% of total towns that is 4821 towns have registered less than 20% growth rate during 2001 to 2011 913 towns have experienced negative growth rate whereas perhaps both urbanization as well as total population growth rate heading for stabilization near about 23323 villages have more than 5000 population with a total population of 90 19.61 crore and if added to urban population then constitute 47% of total population so as long as 1936 mahatma gandhi ji expressed and stressed about the rural character of the economy and need for regeneration of rural life in one of the periodical paper in 1936 he wrote that india is to be found not in its few cities but found in 7 lakh villages but we the town residents have believed that india is to be found in the towns so let us see if those poor folk get sufficient to eat and clothe themselves with and whether they have a roof to shelter themselves from sun and rain therefore i would say that if the the functional integration refers to the integration of all kinds of socio economic activities which directly influence the welfare of the people such as medical education agriculture transportation and communication etc in other words the integrated approach in development thus in the wake of launching a drive to achieve goals of planning within definite time periods some area and people specific programs and schemes have been launched notable among them are drought prone area program that is dpap then tribal development program that is tdp hill area development program that is hadp then command area development program that is cadp etc these are all area based program whereas small farmers development agency that is sfda and revised minimum need program that is rmnp and rural employment program that is rep and integrated rural development program that is irdp are aimed at uh, amplification of condition of target groups in the population that is weaker section of the community so any plan for integrated rural development must be based on an area its resources and the contemporary lines among them its resident and the comple- uh, complementary competitor relations among them the potential of self reliance that the area and the people concerned can attain the degree of 
dependence that is inevitable or even desirable on persons and resources outside the area the infrastructure both material and human necessary for development then the production technique or the technology that can simultaneously increase employment productivity and production equitable distribution of the grains of development and applied of the poor back world among its population the institutions motivations and policies that are needed for coordinated increases in production equitable distribution of output increased employment and utilization of development facilities by the poor and the backward for the removal of their poverty thank you friends for your kind attention